All right, so here's my paintball gear bag for 2020. Uh, the bag itself is a 30 inch rolling duffel bag from uh, Swiss Tech. Picked it up at Walmart for $50. It's a really nice bag. It is a rolling duffel bag, like I said. I don't really use it as a rolling duffel bag because the ground clearance isn't that great. It's not made to roll over rocks or dirt or anything like that. But the cool thing is the straps are big enough and long enough that you can easily sling this over your shoulder. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the side pockets. We got on the far outside, there are two small slip pockets that I don't really use except when I'm on the field. That's where I'll put my phone, my wallet, and uh, keys, stuff like that. I'm gonna start on this pocket over here. Go ahead and sling up. This is where I keep my microfibers. I've got four microfibers that I do keep clean after every time playing. And also in here, I was into it earlier, but uh, a semi-transparent zipper pocket that I keep some tape, Gorilla tape, Teflon tape, and some spare parts. And also in here I keep my Allen key set, full set of metric and standard Allen keys. Moving around to the front here, there's a pocket here on the front that I keep uh, my manuals for my markers in there in a Ziploc bag so they don't have to worry about getting wet or anything. And I have a couple of extra NXE barrel sleeves and some lanyards that I don't really ever use but I have them if I do need them for anything. And this other side pocket is a little bit different. It's a, it's a, it's a shoe pocket. It extends into the main compartment, and that's where I keep my cleats that I plan. I do mainly play on turf, but I still wear cleats. They're really dirty, so I'm not going to pull them out. They're Under Armour Hammer Mid football cleats. Uh, great budget cleats. Uh, if you're looking for a pair of cleats and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, they're currently about 40 50 bucks on Amazon at this time. So. All right. Getting into the main compartments. This top flap, there is a zippered mesh pocket that I keep uh, my gloves and my squeegees. I have uh, the two, two Exalt barrel maids that I carry with me onto the field and some uh, Vulcan battle swabs that I keep on the table to clean between. The gloves I use, general all-purpose sports protective gloves. They're by Cybertron. TTFIG, great gloves, great padding, and uh, they come with the index finger, middle finger, and thumb already cut off. Right here on top, I've got a jersey. This is the Planet Eclipse Phantom jersey in red and black. I bought this because I played a tournament with a team and their colors were red and black, so I got this just so we'd at least match. Pants, these are new. Just picked these up uh, about two weeks ago, shortly before the quarantine hit. And so I haven't had a chance to play with them yet, but they are the Bunker Kings Supreme V2 pants, just the gray and black versions. So far, really like them. They do seem to fit very well. I always have to order 2X in pants because of length. I'm six foot five and always need that. Always need that extra length. Padding, um, Exalt Freeflex knee pads in extra large. Exalt T3 elbow pads. Don't do a whole lot of sliding, but I, I wear these pretty much just for protection and bounces. Pod swab, if you don't have a pod swab, you should get a pod swab. Pod swabs are great. HK Army Eject 4, uh, 4 plus 3 plus 4 pack. I typically only run the 4 pods, but I do have the capacity of carrying 7 more if I need to. HK Army Ball Breaker uh, Barrel Cover. This is, my, this is my primary one. This is what I always use. All the rest of its gear, everything is going to be in um, Exalt cases. Goggles. Goggle case. This little pocket is where I put my headgear on. 
or headgear in. I've got a uh, headband from Paintball Fit where I play out in Waxahachie. Big shout out to uh, JD, Sarah, Scott, Johnny, Colt, all the guys out there, the whole Luke Howe family. Love you guys, doing great things for the sport of paintball, keep it up. I've got a, a compression fit beanie that I'll wear whenever it's colder. And then I've got a lightweight buff. If you're not familiar with buff, it's multifunction headgear. Uh, I typically wear it more like a do-rag style. I also have a black one that's not in here right now because I've been wearing it as a mask during quarantine times. Getting into the, the actual the actual goggles themselves. Right now, I'm currently running the Virtue Vio Excess Twos. Uh, love these goggles. Had a profiler, wanted something newer and, and a little bit different, and these were the first ones I found that fit and feel very similar to profilers. Right now, I've got the fire chromatic lens in there because I needed something with a little bit uh, a more low light performance because the last couple times I played it was overcast and the smoke gog the smoke lenses that came with these was just uh, too much and I, di I didn't really want to buy clear. I keep them in the goggle bag that came with it while they're clean. That's kind of my that's kind of my system. If they're in that goggle bag, they're clean. If they're not, then I need to wash them. Hopper. Now I have a Spire IR. This is new as well. Not the case, but the uh, the tank inside it. First strike, uh, 77 4500 with the Hero 2 regulator. I did install a low pressure spring into it. Uh, just got this last week. Haven't had a chance to use it yet because, again, quarantine. But looking forward to it. I went with the 77 because, as I stated before, I'm tall. I have really long arms, so I wanted something a little bit longer. This is new too, just got this GTEC 170R in the black and gray. I've only, <clears throat> only put about one hopper through it so far because, again, quarantine. I was running an Etha 2 before this, which I keep as a backup marker, along with an ETEC 5. So this is my foray into high end, like high mid, high end. Uh, Gun. This is the most expensive marker I've ever bought. Really looking forward to getting back out there and playing with it. On this other side, I have my barrel system. It's just a, a freak, uh, an old school freak barrel system. And I run the shaft IR uh, barrel back from Planet Eclipse so I can use my, my matching front that came with my 170R. So that's it for the main compartments. This bag does feature a under compartments, like a basement floor type thing, and in here I just kind of keep some stuff that I may or may not need on the field. Spare jersey, uh, Hydra Fit jersey, also from PB Fit, some spare knee pads, some McDavid all-purpose lightweight knee pads. Ran these for a while, but they just don't offer enough coverage for paintball. I've got a parts kit for an old Danger Power Fusion. Uh, just some organizer trays. This is my main uh, toolkit right now. I've got a, a screwdriver, a multi-bit screwdriver, lube, uh, parts kits for my Etha, my E-Tech, and my 170R. Some spare 9 volt batteries. The uh, battery tray that came out of my IR because I did put an in-charge in it. And yeah, another Allen key set. and. Kind of just general all-purpose. This one pretty much just has some Allen keys and some miscellaneous parts. Right now that I have, I have my E-Tech 5 in here as my backup. I got some backup barrels. Uh, two Freak barrels, an old school, an old school Freak 14 inch with a dust silver front and my newer 14 inch with the newer back and the gunmetal gray front. Just in case I want to switch it up and use a different barrel. So that's it. That's my gear bag video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.